Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and in this session I am going to show you how you can quickly add GitHub credentials in Jenkins or you can use this process to add any credentials in Jenkins. So let's get started and this is going to be very easy and very straightforward. I'm on my Jenkins here and here you can see we have an option for credentials. Now in case you do not find this option that is okay this comes after you add the credentials plugin so if you do not see this you can go to manage Jenkins so go to manage Jenkins and here go to manage plugins and then here go to available section now in my case because the plugin is already installed I will show you in the installed section search for credentials plugin and this is the plugin that you will need so in case you do not see the option for credentials go to manage plugins and go to available and then find credentials plugin and install in your Jenkins and then you will see the credentials option here so go here to credentials and here you can see the credentials here you can just click here on Jenkins and click here and then you will find add credentials go to add credentials and you will see this window where you can add the credentials now you can give the description for whatever tool or system you are adding the credentials for example this is for github I am creating the credentials so I will say my github credentials you can say anything here in the description and then in the kind we have username and password or you can also create authentication through SSH tokens etc in this session I'm going to show you a very simple credentials with username and password and then we have scope now for scope we have values global and system so in case you want to add this only for Jenkins and its nodes you can use this and for global it means it will be accessible by Jenkins nodes items all child items etc you can also click on this question mark here and it will show you more information so here now you will add the username and password for the tool or the system that you want to authenticate for example in this session I am going to show you with github if I go to my github let me just log into my github I am doing this so that I can verify the credentials I am using I will go to sign in and log into my github account so this is the username for github and the password so this is my github and I'm able to log in the same credentials I'm going to use here so I will give the github username and the github password do not give anything on the ID it will be auto generated and say ok and you can see this is now created so you can go and update or delete from here as well or you can go to the configuration or update from here so this is now created now whenever you have to create any job and you want to add these credentials you will have the option for example let me go to Jenkins dashboard and I will click on new item to create a new job and I will say git demo or let me say github demo freestyle project and say ok and now if I go to the source code management I will click on click on git here and here I have to give the github repository that I want to access or clone so let me say I just I will take some repository from my github let me take this javascript repository and I will just copy the URL I can copy from here or just from clone or download I can copy it from here and provide the URL here and that's it now here in the credentials I should have the option of the credentials I have just added and you can see here it says my github credentials that I have just added now you can also directly go to add and add new credentials from here so if you go to add and go to Jenkins it will again take you to this window where you can add new credentials in our case I have already added so I will just use these credentials and now if I run this job this will clone this repository in the 
job workspace. So wherever is my job workspace, it will clone there. And if I want to clone it at a custom workspace, I will click on, I will go to general and then clicked on advanced. And now here I will say use a custom workspace and I will create a folder on my desktop. So let me just create a new folder here. So I will say this is Jenkins job and I will copy the location and provide it here in the custom workspace. So now all this will be cloned at this location. You can give some display name. I will say apply and save and now I will click on build now. So you should find, you can see it is now cloning everything here on this, in this folder Jenkins job and if I go to the console output, you can see I am able to clone everything from the GitHub repository. So this is very straightforward, very easy. This is how you can add GitHub credentials or any credentials in Jenkins and use them in your job. I hope this session was useful for you. Thank you for watching.